Hi. Welcome to Springboard for the Arts. And I'd love to welcome you to our offices here in beautiful Lower Town St. Paul. Springboard for the Arts is a community and economic development organization that is run by and for artists. So if you come into Springboard, you'll find all sorts of odd creative people working here, providing resources to people, and artists, anyone who calls themselves an artist is welcome here at Springboard. Being an artist is a really complicated thing. There's a lot of factors to take into consideration and usually in a traditional training as an artist, there's only a small portion uh, of that that is put across. Um, so even if an artist knows how to compose a song or write a paragraph or mix paint, uh, they may not know many, many of the other things that you need to take into consideration making a living as an artist. You know, where to find health insurance, uh, how to scan a slide, how to write a grant, how to write an artist statement. And it's those things that, that we help with. If an artist were to come up and ask me what Springboard did, my first question would be, well, what kind of artist are you and what are your goals? Because I feel like that's where everything starts. Springboard offers a lot of different services and not everybody needs all of those services. So to hear a laundry list of things that we could provide is usually not as helpful as finding out what people really want. Which is another thing I love about Springboard is that we always start with whatever the individual or the small organization's goals are and work from there. Artists are already fantastic. They're primed to be amazing business owners. They're super creative, they're risk takers, they, they love to partner, they love to engage on a very human level, and that's the baseline, and everything we do in the community through Springboard is going up from there. It's important for people to have a place to come and a place where they feel that they can gather and a place where they feel like they can get guidance if they need it in a really non-judgmental, really friendly kind of way. I run the Springboard office in Fergus Falls, which is in west central Minnesota, about two and a half hours north of the Twin Cities. So we've been here now for almost three years and we do everything that the Springboard office does in St. Paul. So we do professional development workshops, consultations, um, but we've also really become a hub in the community for uh, just more creative thinking. It's, it's challenging being a rural artist for a number of reasons. Um, it can be a little more solitary being an artist in a rural community and just a little more isolating. So just being able to run into other creative people. Uh, so here, I mean, one of the things that Springboard really values is that when we do our workshops, it's not just about teaching them skills, but it's actually about bringing artists together so they can meet each other and find ways to collaborate. The thing I love about the way Springboard thinks about artists and the way I get to work with artists is treating artists as professionals, as you would with any other person who is running their own business. Artists are so creative and so interested in problem solving and it's very cool to get to tap into that, especially when the problem that you're solving is about what their next steps are in their career. I tell artists that they should come to Springboard, one, because it's awesome and fun here and we're real, we're artists, you know, so we're very human and we understand their position, um, but we're also very brass tacks. And so when people say, oh, I've heard of you guys, you guys are so much fun, or somebody said I should really talk to you about this very serious thing in my life, then we're, we say, yeah, come on in, let's talk about that, it'll be fun. You know, we're this place where people feel comfortable to come in for advice, um, to, to be able to do the work, but then have us nearby if they hit a stumbling block. And yeah, I mean, I, I'm the same way. I wish that I had had something like this when I was first thinking about my own career. And it's just different than any other career centers or workforce centers. You know, we just have a different way of doing things as artists.
Yeah.